During winter maintenance, one of the most important procedures that needs to be carried out is setting the swinging torque. The swinging torque is an important factor when setting the shear bar clearance to the blades and it's important that it's set within the correct working range. Now, to carry out the maintenance procedure, what we first need to do is remove the shear bar support completely. To do this, the first thing we need to do is actually remove the cotton cylinder concave plate. So the first step in removing the cotton cylinder concave plate is to remove our four mountain bolts that connect it to our shear bar support. With the four bolts removed, we can now remove our back pins. With the back pins removed, with some help, you can drop the concave plate out and onto the floor. Now that the cotton cylinder concave plate has been removed, we're now free to remove our shear bar support. To do that, we will first remove our connection to our shear bar adjustment arms with the 224s. Now that the shear bar adjustment arms have been disconnected, we can now go and loosen our eye bolts for our shear bar support tension. With the tension nuts completely removed, we can now pivot our shear bar support down and lift it straight off the machine. Whenever the shear bar support is off, one of the main checks that we want to do, we want to be able to hold the eye bolt in one hand and the connecting pin should turn freely. At any point, if the connecting pin does not turn freely in the eye bolt and want both move as one item, we need to make sure that these pins have been freed off and potentially replaced. Another important check we want to do is our pivot points. These pivot points are chromed, but if they have become rusted or pitted, we want to make sure that we can clean them back up again so we have a nice smooth moving surface. The final check that we need to make is on our pivot points. Now, our pivot points are fitted with nylon cups. These nylon cups want to be clean and dry. There should be no lubrication on these cups whatsoever. Due to the nature of the material they're made from, they are self-lubricating. If any grease or liquid is applied to these, it can affect swinging torque and cause problems later on. So we want to make sure these are clean and dry. On any older machines that used to be fitted with brass cups, you want to make sure that these are always replaced with nylon cups. So now that we've completed our checks, we can now refit our shear bar support. So we want to line the eye bolts up. And set our support back into the working position. With the shear bar support in working position, what we now want to do is preliminary, preliminarily tighten the nuts for the support up to 100 newton meters. Now that the shear bar support has initially been tightened to 100 newton meters, we can now test the swinging torque using a special tool that you can find in your machine's toolbox. To do this, we need a torque wrench capable of going up to 600 newton meters, and we start at 500 newton meters as the minimum threshold. Once we fit our torque wrench, we simply want to find if we can move the shear bar support without the torque wrench clicking off, which we can. At this point, the swing and torque is not high enough. To increase the swinging torque, what we then need to do is increase the torque put on our eye bolts. So we start off at 100 newton meters and we'll go up in steps of 20 newton meters until we meet the minimum threshold 
of swinging torque on our shear bar support. So we'll now increase the swing and torque by 20 newton meters. And then try to see if our shear bar support will move. So at that point, we can still move our shear bar support. We will then go another 20 newton meters. And try again. This process can be repeated in steps of 20 newton meters up to 300 newton meters maximum on our eye bolts. At that point, if you are going to exceed 300 newton meters, we need to take the shear bar support off again, make sure everything is clean and dry, and potentially replace the eye bolts. We have now increased the torque on the eye bolts to the point where our swinging torque has reached our minimum threshold of 500 newton meters and now our shear bar support will not move. The next step is then to set the torque wrench to the maximum threshold of 600 newton meters and make sure that we can move our shear bar support. This will then mean that our shear bar support is within our working tolerance of between 500 and 600 newton meters. Now that the swing and torque has been set to the required range, we can now pivot our shear bar support back into the working position and reconnect our shear bar adjustment arms. One thing to pay attention to is our shear bar support arms are only clamped whenever the machine is running. To make sure that the shear bar support arms are threaded correctly to our shear bar support, we must ensure that the arms are clamped according to the operator's manual. Once all the connections have been made with the shear bar and shear bar adjustments, we can then reverse the steps of refitting the cotton cylinder concave plate. 